Hey, everybody, this is Tony, and I'm here today with none other than Grammy and Dove nominated uh, singer and songwriter, Miss Aisha Woods. How you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. How about yourself? Awesome. I'm doing just fine. Uh, how has the uh, uh, quarantine been treating you? <laughs> oh, gosh. It is what it is, you know. We just, <laughs> we've learned to adapt to this new um I don't want to say normal because it's not normal, but right. uh, <laughs> just this new way of life and um, making the best of it and learning to be content in whatever state we're here in. <laughs> I know that's right. Now, of course, uh, I want to talk about some music. Um, sure. Now, you have your, your latest single out, uh, Family. Um, I, sure. I did listen to the single and I, I really enjoyed it actually. Um, Thank so you. tell me about the the single. I read the story on it, but I want you to tell about how it came about and and, and was created. Okay, yes, for sure. Um, well, my husband he he dabbles in music some as well, mm -hmm. and um, he he had some tracks that I was listening to from years and years ago and um I was uh just being nosy going through his um his music and <laughs> I heard a track that um that I just absolutely loved and um during the hurricane season um we had hurricane Irma come through uh, the Caribbean and then also Florida, parts of Florida where we right. are. And um, we were kind of on uh, stay at home orders at the time. And mm -hmm. um, we were shut in pretty much for about a week. And we didn't have power for some days. And, um, and so it was my husband, myself, our kids and um and my my grandparents who live who okay. live with us and um i tell you what uh, <laughs> it was family everywhere you turned it was just us <laughs> you know yeah we weren't going out um and um we were just making the most of that situation and spending a whole lot of time together and um and we were uh having little worship sets and um and bible studies and um and i just kind of realized what's really really important in this life you know mm -hmm. and it it took for a hurricane and and a shut in and stay at home orders for me to kind of come back to what's really important and what really matters most and um, and I started writing the song Family. That was the inspiration for it while we were at mm -hmm. home for that um, for that period of time. And um, and when we started recording uh, Full Circle, which is the project to be released next week, um, mm -hmm. we we revisited it during the quarantine time. Uh, okay. this go around so it started back in 2017 <laughs> and when we revisited it uh in the spring of this year we were like man this this song's perfectly fitting for now um so let's go ahead and finish it up and and add it to the project and and so that's the story behind family and it is mm. what it is today but it's been a, a work in the making for some three years. Wow. Well, I'm, I must mm -hmm. say, though, it, it, it really is befitting for a time like now. So I think mm -hmm. uh, I, I always say nothing is by accident. Uh, it's always no. on purpose, you know. Right. So it, it really it was supposed to be now. <laughs> yeah, so for sure, that, for sure. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, that's a, a a wonderful thing and and a message um, that anybody can relate to, really. You know, whether sure. you old, young, you know, no matter that's the right. color, religion, anything, you can relate to that. So, 
it's a, a yeah, really sure uplifting uh, song. So I, I'm glad to hear um, something like that for this time, especially with so many negative things going on, of course. Right, uh, right. It, 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 it is a, a breath of fresh air, really. <laughs> um, Appreciate that. Thank you. No problem. Now, of course, you you got the uh, new uh, project, Full Circle, coming out, like you said, next week. So talk to me a little bit yes. about that. What what kind of uh, uh, sounds are we going to have on this as far as the music? Uh, what is there a specific direction or what what's going on? <laughs> Uh, that's a loaded question, you know. Um, <laughs> and for me, as as an artist, um, over the years, it's I've um, I take pride in the fact that uh, I serve a God that is outside of the box, and right. he's not, you know, he's not in just one particular genre. Um, mm-hmm. And we've got multiple genres represented in this um on this project but, um, what what you can expect on full circle is um it's just uh a a true representation of who i am as an artist as as an individual as a writer um and um as in its in its purest form, you know, we didn't we didn't try and write for radio. We didn't okay. try and you know, we just we put out a project that has songs on it that we believe God is speaking now for now. You know. Right. And um, and not trying to fit into any particular mode, um, but we've got pop, um, just pop uh, sounds on there. Um, mm-hmm. We've got some. One of the songs is a, a soulful uh, R and B type song. Um, We've got, oh gosh, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit of everything on there. One thing I, I'll say that we didn't uh, include on this project that I uh, I typically include on most of my other projects is something with an island flair because I'm from Bermuda originally. Right. Um, so there's no reggae on this project. Um, but, uh, but there are still multiple genres represented on it. And, um, and it's just a, a real heartfelt, authentic Aisha Woods project. I believe it. No, I have to tell you, I, I never knew of Aisha Woods before, uh, literally uh, probably a few weeks ago. <laughs> Well, but all right. I I went and I of course listened to your music because I obviously had to find out who you were if I'm going to do an interview with you. Yeah, um, sure. But I really um, sat and listened to the Runaway Project. I listened to a lot of your stuff okay. uh, at the time, right. but I really listened to the Runaway Project and songs like um, Perfect or Jesus Loving People. I just heard, uh-huh. uh, uh, you know, and, and you have a voice that can really sing anything. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> you don't have to just sing gospel or R&B or soul or, or pop. You can literally sing anything and it makes sense. You know, some people sing things and you just like, no, this is not their style. This is not, you know, but right. when right. I listened to that, I said, okay, every song was like a perfect fit. Oh, so, that's great. I appreciate it, really. Yes, yes. I, listen, I'm telling you, uh, Jesus loving people, I started playing in my car, so I'm just letting you know now. <laughs> <laughs> that song, and you know, we, it, it is, it's unique, and it has its own sound, um, and that's the kind of thing that we really just uh, 
kind of pride ourselves on the right. fact that we won't be pigeonholed into one specific genre or a certain style, you know, of music. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, that's an that's an oldie, but that's a goodie. <laughs> yeah, it, I think it, it's, it still it rings true, you know, for any time right. it's relevant. Right. So. And it's it's very rare that you find an artist like yourself because, like, for, for me listening to some of that stuff, even if you never say Jesus, is inspirational to me. So right, right. You, you, when you think about it, I, I think about songs like um, Hold On by Sounds of Blackness or, you know, uh-huh. uh, some, some other artists. But they never said Jesus in that song, but it was an inspirational song. Right. So, so la, 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 exactly. La, la one of my favorites (laughs) yes yes so that's the kind of feeling i got one from your music overall not even just from that project but from your music overall so i think you really have um something special that other people don't have because not everybody can just say anything and be okay (laughs) (laughs) so you have truly been blessed I thank God for it. Yeah. Yes, yes. But talk to me about your inspiration for music. I know that you came from a musical background. Your grandfather was a musician. Um, so how did uh-huh. that affect you growing up and, and you being an artist now? Wow. Well, I mean, essentially, music has always been a part of my life. Um, just coming up, we... Uh, my folks invested in instruments and um, there was always music being uh, played or or performed or um, just listened to. Music was all around um, mm-hmm. for as long as I can remember. And, um, and when I, when I um, gave my life to Christ, um, I started writing music and writing songs and um, it just kind of blossomed from there. Um, And just being in relationship with him was my major inspiration. Early on, I started writing um, songs based on other people's experiences. And then as i kind of got older and matured a bit I started to write about my own experiences right. and um, and gosh folks just started asking me you know you, you got a tape you <laughs> what kind of <laughs> CD you said at the time <laughs> um, and, and no mp3s they were asking you you got a tape and I'm like no I don't have a tape um, but uh Eventually, um, I just got to a place where I just invested in in what God had put in me, and mm. um, from that day to this one, it's just been uh, a journey, a musical journey, and the inspiration has always remained the same, though, um, being rooted and and being in relationship with Christ Jesus. Of course. Um, Now, were there any, um, uh, how do you say, were there any artists that influenced you um, that weren't gospel or Christian artists um, as as far as your music is concerned? Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, I'll say Lauren Hill was oh, nice. a huge inspiration. She was, um, and I think it was because she was multi-talented. You know, she yes. could, yes. she could sing, she could rap, she could play instruments, and um, and she could sing, and she could sing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I think she was uh, probably one of my major inspirations. Um, in uh soul music and um i always loved michael jackson 
Um, of course. <laughs> and just, you know, anything that he did was, he, he was just a musical genius. And so um, he was definitely a, a strong inspiration and, um, and a musical influence um, in the Christian side of things. Um, I don't know if you remember Crystal Lewis. Yeah. She was um, probably my first um, musical influence that, um, like, I, I got a chance to see her in concert, and I said, "I want to, I want to do that." And, right. Um, and I was a teenager at the time, and um, and of course, commission and and Fred oh yeah. Hammond. Oh yeah. Yeah, my my sister came home from college one year and she was playing some commission in her car, her little niece Ann. And mm-hmm. I was like, <laughs> what is that? That that stuff changed my life. I still I have commission <laughs> on my playlist today. And Yeah. Um, I mean yeah. I got stuff from all of those artists. Um still I listen to today and um and they're still very much uh, a musical influence for me. Of course, yeah. Especially commission. Come on now. That's that's yeah gospel royalty right there, you know. Especially <laughs> yeah. you know, with uh, we go and tell somebody and love isn't uh-huh. love and uh, you know All right. <laughs> I, all right. See don't Not don't a lot get of people me know that stuff. <laughs> No, but you know, uh, honestly, I'm young, but I love the older stuff. I don't really, I mean, I listen to newer stuff, of course, but I love the okay. older stuff. I love the, the caravan kind of stuff and, you know. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, all you right. Know, and, and, <laughs> and over. So. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, yeah. At least you, you have um, a, a palette for for good music. Of course. Of course, so because of you know stuff- what? <laughs> we we have to uh, what people don't understand is for me it's not about being young and listening to old stuff it's about you have to know at some point what what you're listening to was based off of right so right. Th- those are the blueprints right there uh-huh yeah no so doubt. you know I, I mean <laughs> it, it is what it is but they still they still provide the same kind of message they those songs touch you in a different way you know Oh yeah, oh yeah. They were they were authentic. <laughs> right there, you go. They you hit it right on here. Surface and and just flaky and flighty. They had depth, they right? Had meaning. So. <laughs> when you listen to those lyrics, you like, oh wow, okay. Mm-hmm. You you got a deeper right. understanding of something, even if you didn't know about God or even if you didn't read the Bible, or, you know, whatever your case may be. So it's like right. okay. <laughs> yeah, it's for sure. It's true. Yeah. So, but um, getting back to some of your music, um, of course you have about what five or six albums out now so far, and this is you about to release your new one. Um, uh huh. But your your debut introducing Aisha Woods uh came out in what I think it was two thousand and six. But yeah, what I want to know from you is how do you feel you have grown musically since then? Oh gosh, um, I, my musicianship has um, has definitely uh, I've grown in that area, mm-hmm. um, and uh, my writing, I believe, has matured since then. Um, if it if it hasn't there's something wrong I need to check myself (laughs) Um, but I I definitely think I've grown in in my musicianship and in writing Um, and I mean I'm I'm older and how they say a little older a little wiser the wiser that's right (laughs) yeah and so I I have a greater understanding of of certain things and so um, I'm able to um right from a a different place um mentally 
speaking and intellectually speaking. Right. But, uh, I mean, in the same regard, like, it's something about when you're when you're young and you you have no inhibitions and you have no you don't have the cares of of being an adult right <laughs> and there's there's the purity you know what i mean um yeah and that's uh i think some of the songs that um that I came out with very early on in um, in my career, some of those songs are like just really, I think, untouchable because right. of where I was um, in my life and, and age and, um, and all of those things. And those, those factors, have a lot to play in in uh content and of course so you know i i still have a great appreciation for some of those very old songs because of where i was in my in my mind and in my life right right now of course you write a lot of your own music um and this i think that's great because i don't think anybody can really tell your story better than you and or, right. or how you feel better than you you know um, so mm-hmm. as a mm-hmm. songwriter, when you approach a song or even, you know, when, when you, before you even know it's a song, um, what, what, what are you trying to, um, uh, how do I see it? Uh, what, what's most important to you when you're creating, I should say? Um, the, what's most important to me is the message that I'm trying to convey. Because mm-hmm. I can, I can sing about anything, you know what I mean? Like, right. but, but if I'm not trying to convey a specific message, then, um, then I may as well just uh, close my mouth and, and not say anything. Mm-hmm. If I'm trying to convey a message of hope, then I want it to be evident. If I'm wanting to convey a message of redemption or or reconciliation, um, I want that to be clear. Um, so when I write, I, I try to be right. deliberate right. in whatever message I'm trying to get across. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, of course, you have um, you talk about many different uh, subjects and topics in your music, yeah. uh, which is which is real life. So, mm-hmm. I'm curious to know from you. Of course, we all go through things. So, when you when you have a spa- get in a space, or if you do, um, you know that times might get hard, or you might feel down, or something. Do you listen to yourself? <laughs> um. I, I honestly I don't. Okay. I listen to other people. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, the I don't know. Maybe it's a familiarity thing. Yeah. Uh, like my husband, he'll listen to um, the project. Like in the last maybe several weeks. Right. Mm-hmm. He's been playing this uh, the record nonstop. For me, <laughs> when I get in the car, I don't want to hear it. I'm tired of hearing right, it. Right. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm ready to hear something different. Um, right. And um, it it's music done by other people uh, mm-hmm. that that probably reaches me faster or ministers to me faster than my own stuff every once in a while though I'll be like I'll just um hear some old song that um will remind me of what it was that I was experiencing at the time that I wrote it 
Mm-hmm. And then, then I'll be like, oh man, yeah, this is this is why God gave me this song, and and this was happening, and and I'll just be reminded, and um, and that will minister to me. But um, but for the most part, it's somebody else's music, somebody else is singing, somebody else is preaching or teaching that <laughs> that ministers to me before my own stuff. Yeah, I mean, I I can understand that one, though, because even I just decided to ask because some people can listen to themselves. But even even with me, I don't do (laughs) music, but even with these interviews, I don't like to listen to them. Of course, I have to because I have to make sure they're done right. Right. But once that's done, I don't go back and watch it. Somebody might say, oh, I see that you did this and, and, you know, you talked to this person and you said this at this point. And I'm like, I don't even know what was said because I don't even watch it. So... (laughs) Yeah, you know, yeah. But it's, I think it's just a, a a thing, a creator thing, maybe you know. Um, but <laughs> I, I understand. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. But I, I do um, want to thank you so very much for even uh, having this conversation today. Because uh, for people who might not know you, like myself, before a few weeks ago, um, I definitely uh-huh. learned a lot about you and your music. So I'm definitely looking forward to the new album. Um, and thank when you when very is the release much. date again? September the 25th, so next week, Friday. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure you go and pick up the new album, What Full Circle, on uh, September full 25th. Circle. And it's going to be on all uh, digital outlets, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, Apple Music, Spotify, wherever, wherever you buy music, Amazon, make sure you go and get it. Correct. <laughs> yes, go get it. It's going to be good. It's going to bless your life. That's sure. right. And before you go, though, just let everybody know where they can find you on uh, social media uh, or whatever you might have, website, all of that stuff. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Um, you can find us at AishaWoods.com. That's A-Y-I-E-S-H-A, Wood, W-O-O-D-S, dot com. And at the website, there are links to all of our social media pages. So okay. that's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of the above. Uh, iTunes and everything Aisha Woods is at AishaWoods.com. All right. Sounds good. Well, again, this is none other than Miss Aisha Woods. And like I said, thank you again. I'm going to play uh, uh, some of your music. <laughs> and I look good forward deal. to the new music. So you have a good one, okay? You too. Thank you so much, brother.